Hi guys, welcome back to Stuffy to Creates. Today uh, we are doing some jelly printing again. Um, I have out my rice paper. Um, I don't have any more size or any more sheets cut down, so I'm just gonna grab quite a few sheets here and rip them out. What I really need is one of those <laughs> guillotine cutters, but with me being so accident prone, that's probably not not a good option. <laughs> All right, let's see. I'm gonna move that all the way down there because I'm having having a lot of shit trying to see that. I think it's right here. issue with this cutting lately. So let's see. Let's see what we cut. Oh we got a couple of sheets cut here. I just didn't cut all the way on this last one. Oh, this last one has lines through it. Oh there's two here. That's what I was afraid of when I was cutting on this. Oh. Okay, I think that's enough sheets for today. So quite a few sheets. I probably won't even use all these today. But I like to have them cut and ready to go. Okay. So, that's a little dirty. Um, Alright, so here I have my jelly plate. I have this one. Open this one way, yes. And then I have my little one. I think we're going to do the bike one today. Which it looks like it still has some paint on it from the last time. So we should be able to get some of that off. Look, I even got it off onto this. I wonder how I can clean that. Anyways, I'm gonna go ahead and take both sides off. So since it has this pattern on here, um, I want to get it off. Um, but at the same time, I want to go ahead and do... I'm sorry, there's going to be a ring on the jelly plate. I can't... I don't know how else to... So we need light. Sorry, it's gonna be light. Um, I did get some stencils. I think I want to do this one. So, I'm gonna do one here and then I want to do one down here. Um, I got all my paints out here. So many to choose from. Let's do lavender. Let's shake this up. Oop, I didn't shake it up enough. Oh well. Alright, so I'm gonna jelly print that on there. Okay. I'm gonna try 
try to shake this up a little bit more. So there's that flower. And I want to get another one down here. That should up a little bit better. to a scrap piece of paper. Scrap piece of um, rice paper. All right. Then kind of draw into this one, metallic um, violet shimmer. So we're gonna go ahead and add this. Hopefully that's enough. I'm just, I think it just killed that flower because it wasn't dry yet. Oh well, we shall see. That's the whole thing about jelly printing is trying new things. Why does this paper have lines through it? Oh well, we're just going to go ahead. Still picked up the um, the floral a little bit, but not as much as I would like. I'm gonna go ahead and do it again. Try to pick up some more. That's why I was drawing this because <laughs> it reminded me of the other one that I did before. Okay, so that looks pretty cool. I can keep layering on both of those. Um, didn't quite clean the plate though, like I was hoping. Um, let's. Let's try the dolphins again. This time, I'm gonna do gray. Should I try the dolphins again or should I clean the plate? Hmm. Let's clean the plate first. Um, let's see. Maybe like a cream, like an ivory. Vanilla here. Let's try that. So when I say clean the plate, I'm wanting to get um, the layers off that I have already. I need a different roller <laughs> that are already on there. So. do is grab another sheet here. And let's see how much of that we can whoops we can pick up. Because I really do want to try the calendar again. Okay, so 
so I got it pretty wet. Where did my dolphin go here? Alright, so this is what I want to do. Right smack in the middle. I'm hoping that this works this time. I want to rub it, but I should have done it on the smaller jelly plate. <laughs> Just making a mess, guys. It's okay. Mm, let's take this one. This one that I've been rolling. Um, I wet thing on. coming off. I'm trying to get the paint off. Hmm. Maybe it needs a set longer. Way too much paint on my balance. Set longer. I'm gonna throw that one out, and we'll try that again another time. All right. So, just gonna the fun thing about jelly plate is that you can just experiment, try things new. Okay, I'm gonna put this back on. do the blue pearl this time. I like need another 
um, like a tray or something for my um, drawing sheets. This stencil, kind of want to add this um, color. Um, let's do my favorite color, Robin's egg blue. It's drying there. You know what? I'm just going to go for it. Do I have one that's... This one's a little bit more empty. I think I did too much. <laughs> Ready? Mm -hmm. Didn't really work too much. That's well, okay. We can relayer. It's still wet. Let's grab one of these that is dry. No matter how I put it, the flowers are going to be in the same spot, it looks like. Oh, 
really see the purple flowers anymore. But that might be really cool when it dries. Um, and I have the dark purple one. I'm wondering if I should put Like you use um, stencils like I am. You can use um, stamps, which we can do that next and show you. covered up all the purple that was there which is we'll do this one so I'm just gonna stamp into the paint I might have not have waited long enough for that to dry, to be honest. This one has so much paint on it, it's going to take a minute to dry. Um, this one has so much paint on it too. I'm a little disappointed about the purple. But, you know what, we can still do something really cool with it. Um, I still have this one. I kind of want another layer of. Maybe we'll do this one next. This one's almost dry. And we'll do a stamp again. Alright. Sure I'm still recording. Alright, here we go. As you can see, it's really cool looking. I did not get any of the stamping in there, so I do want to try one more time with that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to set it aside for one second. I'm going to grab that purple, the um, Violet Shimmer Purple. that mint and this shimmer purple and it's so pretty together okay shimmer purple off this on the scrap 
here. Alright, and I'm gonna take my stamp. Try my best not to <laughs> move it around, which is really hard with wet paint. Take that sheet that we just did. Try my best to get it on there perfect. Definitely hard to do. Alright. You can kind of see the purple coming out through it. I'm gonna wipe the stamp off real quick. See how that that turns out. While that is doing that, I'm gonna put some of this paint away. That turned out really cool. Let's see the mint on the end through it. I think I'm done messing with that one. Um, as you can see, we still have purple on here. So that one that um, that I lost the purple on, I'm gonna go ahead and stick that back on there. So now let's look at this one. What do I want to do with this one? This one kind of gives me like beachy vibes. So, how about an anchor? Let's do that. Um, so that's gonna be more like a silver. So, hmm. Let's try a different trick. I have not done that before, so don't quote me on it. What I'm going to do is I'm going to shake up the paint and then I'm going to put it on the stamp itself. Let's hope this works. I've never done this before so it might not even work. Because yeah, it looks like it's going in all the little crevices. It's just Yeah, that kind of did work. That's cool. I really like that actually. So, that one just needs to try. Um, try to get this. I don't know. All I really need to do is take these to the sink and wash them off. 
I'm gonna go do that real quick, clean up a little bit, and then come back. Right. Let's do pure gold. And we're gonna kinda do like what we did before. Um, we're gonna roll it on a stamp. This time, I'm gonna put it on the bowler. I don't know if this is gonna work. Okay, <laughs> I don't know if this is going to work. Alright, I'm taking this dark blue one. Putting it over the stars. I'm going to just put... This is always fun because you don't know how it's going to come out. actually came out really cute. I love it, actually. It's so cool. Okay, let that dry. And now I have this one. This one that's taking forever to dry, um, which I might have to come back to because it is saturated all the way through. Um, and this one is probably gonna have to stay the way it is. Um, this is the one I was rolling. thing on and you know what there I just created something really cool with that so that one's good so really I need to do something with this one and I want to do something else with this one so maybe what the thing I do with this one I can roll it out on this one so like I did with that so let's move that over to the side um, don't want to do stars again. Um, kind of eyeing the rose gold here. So what do I want? Let's do the lady. Let's see how that works. Okay. So same thing. This one I'm actually going to put on her because she's bigger stencil and I still have the stars in the background so this might turn out really cool or it might be really big fail. <laughs> we shall see. So we're just gonna yeah, she doesn't really need to kind of put her there. And then I just had a really cool idea. <laughs> off onto this scrap here. What if I use this? I kind of create my own painting with jelly printing. This is not getting in all the crevices like I wanted. I 
anybody else really nervous about this? <laughs> I'm just kidding. You definitely cannot read the Believe in Your Dreams. And you can't really tell that's a girl. But I still think it turned out really cool with like the the gold on it. Alright, so I'm just gonna ink her all around to get some of that paint off. Same with this. And watch, this turns out to be the coolest thing I make. <laughs> Beautiful. Because, so this is gonna be the last, the last sheet, and then we'll look at everything I've made. Even though I'm having too much fun, and I don't want to stop, but I'm running out of room. So, what if we? Let's see. I'm trying to decide on a color keep eyeing this one. This one's a lavender. So we'll do lavender. Ooh, lavender. Excuse you. Alright, and then we're gonna just roll the lavender out. So actually, I'll probably have two sheets. This one after. Clean up what's left. And watch, this is going to be like the best one. so fun because like you, you don't know what you're making. You don't know how it's going to turn out. Sometimes it's a fail. Sometimes it turns out really cool. I'm nervous. So pretty. Oh my god, it's like a wallpaper. <laughs> oh my god, I love it. Okay. Yeah, I'm gonna try one more sheet just to pull up whatever is left. Okay, I'm gonna let that one sit a little bit so I can pick up everything. Um, okay, let me show you what I mean. Right, so, this one's, they're all still like drying. So, this one, um, I really love the mint green. And the purple and the dark blue on this. It's really pretty. Next one I did was this um, purple and mint green. Really pretty. Okay, 
Here is my beachy theme with the, um, the anchor. This one's dry. Anchor. That one turned out kind of, kind of cool. Um, anyone call me? No. Okay. And then next one we have is this dark blue one with the stars and the dots. I really like that one. That's cool. And then we have the one with the girl and the stars. And then the flower right there. The flower up there. It's really cute. Um, and then we have my rolling. I was just rolling the paint off. That one turned out really cool too. And then we have my other one that I rolled. That was the one that wouldn't dry yet. And I just added some rolls to it. And I think it turned out really cool. And then the last one we just did. So pretty. <laughs> I think that one's my favorite. And then now this one. This one didn't get any of it up, but got some of it off. So that's what that one like that one I'll probably uh, leave with the jelly print or the jelly plate because I can get some more stuff off of that for next time well anyway I hope you guys enjoyed this video I had fun <laughs> I didn't want to stop I just wanted to keep going but we don't want a really long video right all right well thank you all for watching and um, I hope you enjoyed this video and I look forward to seeing you all in my next one. All right. Have a good one. Bye, guys.